Hi everybody, um, today is, let me see, July 20th, and it is right after 3 o'clock. Um, I know <laughs> you guys haven't known where I have been, but I have been in Facebook jail, locked up and down. Um, this time I had a 30-day stint for something that I think I posted in January 2019, I think. But anyway, all it did was give me time to go ahead and, I guess, focus on our calls here and go ahead and dive in um, to the information that we have for sure, not the ones that through V2K these assholes say to us, but um, in case you you guys are following me for the Redberg sensor, um, they have not come out with the, I guess, the machine that is going to be available to the public, and let me tell you why. Um... I got a, well, an email from Helena, and I don't know how many of you guys get emails from her, but I'm pretty sure that's not her real name, and in, in that case, I really respect that because she's trying to give us information that we need without directly showing that where it's coming from. So anyway, Helena sent me an email um, about a congressional hearing um, that the UN, I guess, is pursuing against uh, America and the Department of Justice. And they are doing this uh, with the aim being to, I guess, catch people that are doing this uh, V2K, this electronic harassment and torture. And they are the ones, I, I don't know how far they're going to go into that, but I really believe they are using the sensor and it's not available to us yet because they are using it. And the, um, the people that are investigating us are now being investigated themselves. So, um, you know, and she told me to, you know, um, you know how usually we ignore them, anything that they say, whatever, um, ignore them. But the thing is, is she wants us to talk back to them. Actually, you know, th there's some sort of banter communication to keep um, them talking. Because I guess they can accrue more information and more of what they need. And able to push uh, the investigation further and get these people tried. And from what I understand... Um, they are going to be um, brought in front of a military tribunal, and I'm not really sure how that works, but I do know that the word executions was thrown around um, because it is a crime against humanity and it is um, domestic terrorism, what they're doing to their own citizens. So um, anyway, we're going to move past that. Um, I only have a few minutes here, but um, don't worry. I'm going to make another one. It's going to have way more information. I'm just letting you guys know where I have been and what I have been doing. So we have made some major ground here. I just want you guys to know what's going on. Um, I have noticed if anybody wants to do um, any kind of research about the area that they are in. I know everybody, this is a worldwide thing, and I have people... I have viewers viewing me from Europe. You guys are in Jamaica. And there are people everywhere. But um, if you are in the States, uh, go ahead and search for the Coast Guard base or the Homeland Security, I guess, um, base near yourself. And go ahead and tell me how far away these people are because I myself, the Coast Guard base is only a few miles from me. And another gentleman that I talked to, a TI, says that the nearest one to him is about 68 miles. And if you go on to the Coast Guard's website, um, they tell you that if you need uh, to communicate with them, to go ahead and, um, you know, contact them at a frequency. And frequencies is what we are hearing. These people... Um, I did figure out yesterday that we are hearing through satellite. Um, it is not just through electricity and microwaves that are running through the air. They are contacting us via satellite. 
Um, and I'm not real sure how that works yet, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to find out soon. Um, I'm trying to do this video quickly because my voices are telling me that I have some kind of felony warrant. You know, like they have been, and they've just, but what they're doing is they have to gather a reaction from you um, in order to be able to brain map you as well as possible for data purposes. So, um, anyway, like I said, just keep talking to them because I promise you this is a means to an end. And now that the United Nations is involved, um, this thing is going to start collapsing at a record rate. So, um, anyway, before they come and get me, <laughs> I'm going to give you guys all of the information that I can. I have been threatened ever since I have been doing this Rydberg sensor stuff um, that they say they are going to kill me. They're going to put me up and put me away. But it doesn't really matter because, you know, for this cause, I'll do anything. So, um, anyway, for everybody um, that wants to know a little bit about barricading themselves, I found something called a ferrite bead that is located on our laptop chargers. And what they do is they block microwaves and any kind of frequency that can um get in the way of um you know your your data and your laptop so they actually block microwaves and other frequencies um i will do some more research on that i i just that's the bare minimum that i have like in my head right now so um i will do more research and let you guys know about it um as i can um just uh you know, my personal situation, um, these people talk about my husband incessantly. Um, they're saying we're not really married. They're saying that people that have died are not really dead. Um, but your reactions are everything. Remember that. If you get upset or if you get angry, if you get happy, um, you know, you get sad. It is all for the purpose of brain mapping. And, you know, right now, and I know it's really tough to do, but talk back to these people. Get get a conversation going. Uh, usually they don't answer or even, like, acknowledge when you've said something to them. But just keep talking to make them respond because, you know, that's... Helena told me, well, she said in this email that it, um, you know that it doesn't break up the frequency that, you know, that they, they are being tracked, um, and just do what you can to keep them involved and talking. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I only have 20 seconds, but I will make another video and, um, I will, uh, you know, include more information in that, but I hope you guys are doing well and I have missed you and it's good to be back on here. Bye.